Hi all. Many of my students who are watching my YouTube videos kept on asking me to keep a video related to permutation and combinations. And many students find it difficult to remember the notation nc0 equivalent to 1, nc1 equivalent to n, ncr equivalent to nc n minus r, nc n equivalent to 1. Now, through this video, I will teach you in such a way that you will never forget these logics till your last breath. And we are going to understand these logics using an absolute common sense way. I will go concept by concept. Concept 1. Prove that nc is 0 equivalent to 1. Prove that nc is 0 equivalent to 1. Now, please let us understand through this example. There are four students sitting in a class. I entered into the class. I entered into the class and I suddenly realized that and I entered into a wrong class. My class was scheduled in classroom number 2. I entered into the class. I did not select anyone and I exited the class. I entered into the class and without selecting any, I exited the class. In how many ways I can do it? Only one way. I entered and I exited without doing any selection. Suppose, another example. I conducted an exam for 30 people and I said that I will select some people who get greater than 25. But none of the students got greater than 25 marks. I entered into the class and I gave the answer sheets to everyone. I said, I am not selecting any. In how many ways I can do it? Only one way. That means, I decided not to select anyone. In how many ways I can decide not to select anyone? Only one. NC0 equivalent to 1. That means, number of ways of not selecting any from N people, it is always one way. I hope it's, the concept is clear. Concept 2 nc1 equivalent to n. Now nc1 equivalent to n. Let us take another example. There are four students sitting in the class. I entered into the class. In how many ways can I select one student? Now think logically. There are four students in front of me. I can select either student 1 or student 2 or student 3 or student 4. That means I can select either student 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 as per fundamental principle of addition whenever there is an or condition we have to add first person one way or second person one way total two ways or third person three ways or fourth person four ways that means if there are four people sitting in my class selecting one student out of four students can be done in four ways that is Either 1, 2, 3 or 4. Therefore, nc1 equivalent to n. I hope it is clear. Why nc0 equivalent to 1? Why nc1 equivalent to n? Concept 3. ncr equivalent to nc n minus r. ncr equivalent to nc n minus r. To explain this, what I'll do is, I'll take 5 students. Let me call that students as student A, student B, student C, student D and student E. There are five people. I entered into the class. I need to select two. For example, I selected A comma B. Now listen carefully. Out of five people, I selected two. If I select A comma B, it is nothing but rejecting C, D, E. If I select A comma B, it is nothing but rejecting C, D, E. That means selecting two people out of five people is nothing but rejecting remaining three people out of five people. Therefore, 5C2 equivalent to 5C3. Suppose there are seven people standing in a line. I select three people. If I select any three particular CP, three people out of seven, that is nothing but rejecting the remaining four people out of seven people. Selecting any 3 out of 7 is nothing but rejecting remaining 4. Therefore, 7C3 equivalent to 7C4. I hope through this video, you have understood the basic properties of NCR in the most simplest way. My only role as a teacher is to make mathematics super exciting and super interesting subject.
Thanks a lot. Keep watching Anilmayar Classes YouTube channel to solve any problem in competitive exam through a prism you have never seen before. 